Hey there, Nancy Drew Clue Crew! I'm Argyle Fomf, and this is the 2020 Nancy Drew Games Mega Marathon! So today we are playing game number 27, The Deadly Device. And playing this game is sort of like being in quarantine. Nancy's stuck inside the whole time, she can't leave the building ever. It's, it's like she's in quarantine, or she's trapped in Antarctica, and she can't go outside because it's freezing and snowy. So should we play this game on Master Sleuth Mode, or Amateur Sleuth Mode? Silly question. Master Sleuth Mode for the win! Although I feel kind of sad I don't get any hints on Master Sleuth Mode. And I guess the task list will have to serve as my hint button. Dun-dun. So this game is a murder mystery. Niko Jovic was just killed while working on a machine. Who did it? That's what Nancy's gonna find out. Nancy. You made it. Good. You couldn't tell me much earlier. What's the story? You'll find all the information in Nico's desk drawer. The combination is 171943. Got it. I'll need full access to the lab. And a cover. For the cover, say you're doing due diligence for a new investor. I'll back you up if anyone asks. But full access to the lab? No. It's too dangerous. If I can't investigate everything, I might have a problem on my hands. All right. I'll have Ellie set up a demo for you. But that's it. The equipment in this lab is extremely dangerous. Got it. Approach the case how you want, but I think I know where you should start. Ryan. The police really thought she might be behind Nico's murder. They just couldn't prove it. She built the machine that killed him, and supposedly she threatened him. Start there. I've got to leave the office. If you need me, I'll be on my phone. Good luck. Stay safe. And please, help me do right by Nico. He was a brilliant scientist and a good man. Fantastic. So this is Nico's office. This must be the drawer where Victor put the case file. Is one seven one nine four three? Yes, that was Victor. He's our boss. Hello, Nancy. I need you to solve the mystery. Nancy, here are the notes from the investigation. Keep the contents of the file to yourself, and do not remove it from Nico's office. If anyone should discover the file on you, your cover would be blown. So, Nico, 61 years old, murdered. All, all of our suspects. Um, Mason Quinto, really hates people. Ellie York, tired and really hates people. Ryan, the crazy silly one. Gray, he also hates people. And Victor, well, he looks like the villain from that Iron Man movie. So, obviously, he hates people. And uh, the security video. Okay, let, I I uh, I'll take a picture of the security video number. So Nancy needs to watch this security video. So I'm not joking when I say all these people hate each other. Um, uh, you know they're they are avoiding each other. Like uh, she works at nighttime to avoid Mason, and Gray works at nighttime too. So this is one of those games where he can work at daytime, and and nighttime, and nighttime. So let's switch to nighttime. Uh oh. Hello, Nancy. I forgot to tell you, we've been having a lot of outages lately. Funny you mention that. I think you're having one right now. It's nothing to worry about. 
We've got backup on the big systems. Most of the time, Gray can get things back online in an hour. Occasionally, it takes a while, but rarely does it come close to the critical window. Critical window? Some of the equipment can get unruly when the power supply isn't consistent. Don't worry about it, though. Take the time to get settled. Catch up on sleep. All right. Gotta run. Okay, so... Try not to worry about the, the, the entire building exploding and everyone dying. Just take a nap, okay? Take a nap. Okay, what's that? Ugh, come on! Does Nancy's phone not have a light? I guess her phone doesn't have a light. Oh, my toe! Ooh. All she can do is stumble forward and go, go to Betty Bye. It looked pretty bright outside. Why Why wasn't any of the light coming this in through the windows? This was not what I expected when I uh -oh. set the alarm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Danger. 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 Here's Gray. We're going to go outside to meet Gray. As I promised, he's angry and grumpy. You, come with me. What's going on? No chit-chat. Come. Now. We need to get the system shut down before the grid goes critical. Get all those switches powered off. I'll do the rest. Let's see... See these two switches? Could this have been used to keep the power on? I need to keep this together with any other evidence I find. Tied together by the culprit. Oh yeah, Nancy's gonna have a ton of bruises just from bumping into everything while walking across the room. Poor Nancy. So this is a simple puzzle. Uh, you need to turn off all the lights like this. So we, I, I think we had a similar puzzle in White Wolf of Icicle Creek, right? It's uh, the ones that are next to the corners. Oh no, okay, I messed up. Um, here, 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 and here. Nice work, now get out. Who are you? What just happened? If the grid had gone critical, we'd all be dead right now. I'm Gray. I don't care who you are. Don't tell me. Get out. And that is Gray. He lives in the security booth at nighttime. I guess they don't think they need security during the daytime. Don't know you. Who let you in? But we've already met. In the lab? Never mind. I'm Nancy. I'm here doing research for a new owner. Just what this place needs. You're not a fan of the idea? Nope. Why not? Not a fan of most ideas. Yeah, he's grumpy, but he he looks like a big old teddy bear, yeah. That's a strange attitude for someone who works at a research facility. <laughs> Might be. What do you do here? Job description says security agent. Suppose it's more valid than not. How long have you worked here? Don't know. Can you estimate? Mm, nah. You're really not going to tell me how long you've worked here? So it would seem. I better get going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's angry and bald. Poor Gray. So let's get rid of him by calling in a fake security alarm. <laughs> Our security emergency. Whatever the reason, you press the button and he goes running. Let's see here. Now we can break into his area. Ah, this this puzzle. You might recognize this from uh, the Captive Curse. It's a lot harder in this uh, game than it was in the Captive Curse. Ooh, yes. And one charge remaining here. Did it. Woo! It could be binary. I bet there's something here that could help me decode this. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Okay, so I need I uh, need to solve this binary puzzle. It's a binary puzzle. 
So we need to go upstairs on the slow elevator of slowness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here's the binary thing. So this is what binary looks like when you have dots. And uh, Ryan's not here right now because it's nighttime. Let's meet Ellie. Ellie will give us a lab demo. Ooh, and here's a book I can steal. Woo! Can I help you? What brings you here? School? Actually, I'm checking the lab out for a new potential owner. Oh yeah, Nancy, right? Yes. Ellie, Victor wanted me to show you the coil. I guess you could say you're lucky. Most people never get to see the inside of the lab. And we're not exactly up to giving tours, considering. Ready? Woo, lab time. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Is this the coil that was responsible for Nico's death? Yes. It's been rewired since that night. It never should have been set up that way in the first place. Why was it wired that way? There must have been a reason, right? Now, I need you to focus on what we are doing. It's very dangerous. What you're in right now is called a Faraday cage. Well, how does it work? Basically, it conducts the electricity away from whatever is inside it, keeping you safe. Here we go! Okay, that's it. Back to the office. Thanks for the demo. Any chance you could let me look around in the lab sometime? Nope. That is so cool, but also I would be terrified of using it because it killed a man like a week ago. You said the coil should never have been wired the way it was the night Nico died. Why not? Wiring the secondary and primary coils together is a good way to get yourself killed. Or someone else. Are you sure it was Ryan? Yes. Why would she do that? She said Nico insisted. Does that sound like something Nico would do? I never understood him. But if he was even a fraction as smart as his work leads me to believe, why would he do something so dangerous? Can you tell me what you do at the lab? In plain terms, I'm a research scientist. How long have you worked here? Some days feels like decades. I don't actually know. Two years? Maybe a bit less. Do you share the office? In a way. Mason's station is over there. He's in during the day. Is there a way into the lab without a key card? No. Trust me, I've tried. I'm not great at remembering to bring my card, and Gray does not like letting me in. Bye. Bye. So that's going to be a puzzle. I, I forgot to go upstairs during the daytime to get the card from Ryan's area. Oh well, let's check out Mason's area. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mason's not very forgiving. You don't want to be messing with his stuff. Sorry, I was just a little curious. You know, he's not here. Make you a deal. He's been lording his high score at aggregation over me. Take him down, and I'll let you poke around. I'll let you go. Bye. Yeah, it does seem that nobody here knows how long they've been working here. Well... As I said, it's just like quarantine. The days sort of run together. It's like, what day of the week is it? Is it still March? Is it April? Is it still 2020? What year is this? I don't know. Okay, so I need to get a high score. Oh, boy. Okay, so aggregation, you need to get a high score. Basically, you need to make groups of three. Yes, let's see. Uh, 
this is hard. Okay, let's build yellow to the right. Blue to the left. Yes. This, and give me some yellows. Got it. So what was... What was... What was the high score? I've already forgotten. Let's see, blue's there. I bet my journal might say. Uh let's let's hope Nancy just tells us if we've gotten the high score. And now 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 this game is impossible to solve. Okay, let's see. Got a bunch of oranges here. Blue's there. Yes, and now a bunch of oranges here again. Um, yeah, that's not very good. Let's see. I, I could get an orange here. And an orange there. Oh, oh boy. I can get rid of those blues. Let's get an orange here. That way I can get green. In these spots, get rid of those greens. Got plenty of yellows. Good, down to like two colors. Woo! Okay, an easy and enjoyable mini game. Well, sometimes it's really difficult. Ooh, and here's a nice one. I, I think the star is multicolor. So it, it can be any color you want. So would it get rid of this, perhaps? It would. And those walls, those walls basically prevent you from making matches right there. Hmm, let's see. Get rid of those greens. Yes. Make a blue match like that. Make a blue match like that. This and yellow together. Color and green. Woo! It's like 32,000. Okay. We'll see if, I, uh, if I've got this. You've got this. No worries. Got rid of those in the middle. Um, let's see. Orange there. Yellow there. Green there. Green match over. Okay, and now I need to get, um... Blue matches. So here I've got, say, like, three blues on the edges. So those work. And I can get a, a blue there. And then, oh my gosh. Okay, so I need an orange. And those oranges don't count as connected. Okay, green here. Blue here. Get rid of these, these ones there. Okay, so green randomly here so I can get rid of all those oranges in one fell swoop. Woo! Yeah, one wrong move. And uh, you're, you're stuck on this puzzle forever. Oh, there's a bomb and a cloner. Ugh. Why? Um, I mean, hooray. So let's see, I wanna get a green next to a green. A couple oranges. Now I can get three yellows in a row. And an orange in a row. Then a green. Oh man, a purple would be nice right now. Or a cloner would be nice right now. Um. Yeah, here basically I need to create a pathway to this, this blue that's uh, in the way.
Okay, good. The game is having mercy on me and giving me that. Woo! One more level. Oh, man. Let's see. Ooh, and what's these... What's the green ones? Shield. An extra match for shielded pieces. For shields, I guess we need three um, of a piece to connect. Okay. Gosh. Okay, there's the purples. Getting rid of those blues. Getting rid of those purples. More purples, I see. Uh, send a purple here. Send in a green. Um, got two, got three oranges here. So there we go, I got rid of that shield. And now I just need a ton of greens. If I could get greens there, that would be nice. I'll need an extra yellow. Um, let's see. We've got these blues. Got those blues. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. Get rid of that wall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now I need I need to get like an extra blue here, don't I? Okay, let's get um two light blues. Whoo boy. Um hmm. I need to get another green here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Got several in a row. I think this is it. If the game just keeps going with those two colors, then I'm done. Oh no! That's not a high score yet. Okay, one more level, everyone. One more level. Whew! That was good. Now I need to work like the inside pieces, don't I? Let's see. Let's have a green there and a green there. Yeah, just try to get rid of the corners uh, first. It looks like right now I'm having an easy time getting the outside walls here. Yeah, yeah, those left and right outside walls worked. So now let's... Oh, great, and I've got a bunch of star matches everywhere. I've got four star matches. Nice! Let's see. Star match there. And blue there. Get those light blues out of the way. Get another star match there. So I can use green here. Star match on that piece and then green. Um, yellow's here for a star match. And geez, it's going to have to be like green here. Uh, and the game is insisting I find a way to use this, um, use this purple. Let's, let's get yellow out of the way there. Orange. Get that purple. Star match in green those greens. Looks like it wants more oranges. Okay. 
Um, let's see. Uh, blue here. Woohoo! New high score. Did it. Did it. Ooh, and this this level's where bombs are introduced. Okay. We solved the puzzle. We solved the puzzle. Okay. So now let's break into Mason's area. Get out of there. Get out of there. But, but I beat his high score. Oh, Nancy? What's up? I beat Mason's high score. You did good, kid. This is me looking the other way. It's a limited time offer. I better get going. Goodbye, Nancy. So, uh, here what you do is, um, basically all these orange letters go down here to spell Tesla's hometown. And one of the random books says the hometown is Similgen. And now we can, uh, play this game if we want. Uh, we don't. Whoa. Ryan should never have been released. Better follow up on this. We'll get that photo. A record depository. Don't know what that is. Oh, and then the 3D printer thing. Wow, yeah. And there's Mason's, uh... There's Mason's employee number. Biometrics. This tells you how to use a gummy fingerprint to fool a fingerprint scanner. Which will be useful. Okay, I'm messing with this stuff now. <laughs> Messed with this stuff. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, so now let's let's check out both those videos. We're gonna have to get rid of grade, right? So, we'll distract him. It's a very, very good thing he doesn't see Nancy uh, messing with... <laughs> messing with the alarm. I think he would see her. Done. So this is a key card puzzle, which we won't do yet. So let's watch both those videos that I took pictures of. So what were they? Hallway 510257. Oh no, tell me they're in my notes then. Oh, okay, it's in my notes. Okay, good. I can't do that yet. Hmm. These must be the key cards used to access the lab. I should figure out which number belongs to whom. That number is from the night of the murder. It doesn't appear anywhere else in the logs. So we have a magical one-time only key card that was used on the night of the murder. Let me see. I'll make double sure I got this correct. Okay, you do have to use capital letters. Okay. Well, good to know. So, Mason said Ryan should never have been let back. She should have been arrested because she can break into the lab without a key card. Yeah, looking suspicious, Ryan. She's bypassing the security system. Interesting. L-B-T-Y-5-10-2-5-7. Wait, what? Did I do that wrong? Yeah, okay, now this is the video mentioned in the case file. Check. Just Nico. Hmm. Did that. 
then yay, I did my first two tasks. Can't check that off yet. It's gonna be a while before I can finish investigating Ryan, though. Okay, so the password for the key cards is kind of difficult. Let's get a key card from Ryan's area, and then we'll 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 do that key card password. I think this is the book that talks about his hometown. Yep, here. It says right there, his hometown. Woo! Hey there, Nancy Drew. Hi, Deirdre. Are you in Colorado by any chance? Yes. How did you know? Some friend of my dad's called me for a reference for you. And you gave him a good reference? Well, I told him the truth. That was very nice of you. Was it? By the way, don't make a habit of it. Okay? Bye. Wait, hang on a sec. I might need some outside help with this case. <sighs> Did you forget that I don't like you? No, but I know you're studying criminology and... Maybe someday I could help you out. Oh, a non-specific promise with the word someday. Sounds too tempting to ignore. Yet, here I go. But Deirdre, you want to help me out because we're buddies. Deirdre. Yeah. So that's Deirdre Shannon from Alibi and Ashes. Doesn't really like Nancy. Let's see, Deirdre is the number two criminologist in town. They both live in River Heights. Well, Nancy's the number one criminologist in, in the entire state. Nancy solves so many crimes, it is crazy. So, uh, Deirdre might be a little bit jealous and feeling inferior to Nancy's awesome detective skills. And Mason, Mason, hey Mason. If it looks like I'm busy, that means I'm busy. What are you working on? It's immensely complicated. Get a postgrad in advanced math and electrical engineering, then I'll explain it to you. Put it in layman's terms. Fine. There's this shiny magic that lives in the power lines, and it's dangerous and sly like a fox. And I'm using math to trick it into leaving the power lines, without accidentally making everyone die. That sounds like you're working on the wireless transmission of electricity to me. If you want to put too fine a point on it, go ahead, stranger. Which brings me to my next point. Who am I? Please let the answer be something that justifies me kicking you out of my workspace. I'm here on behalf of a new potential owner. Wrong. No, that's correct. No, I mean wrong answer for me. Not the answer I wanted to hear. Nico is upset. No, 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 no. This is Mason. Mason's upset because he can't kick you out of his cubicle. Do you know why Ryan would want to hurt Nico? The police. Yeah, we, we just met him and he's already wishing that he could get rid of us. He's already asked the same thing. Well, what did you tell them? I said if I were to have killed Nico, it'd be because he stole my work. Whoa, hold on. It's just a for instance. Is it? Yes. That's because I think logically. I force myself to think from A to B to C and so on. Ryan is all over the place. For her, it's A to zucchini, to that thing from TV to maybe C, then on to some non sequitur. I don't trust anyone I can't explain. You look a little upset. Someone moved my things. Someone will pay. He doesn't like it when we mess with his stuff. Can you tell me a little bit about Gray? He always gives me an industrial-sized portion of the creeps. The only person who ever liked Gray was Nico. And I think he just liked keeping Gray around to scare everyone away from his work. Did he try to scare you away from Nico's work? No. He tried to scare me away from my own work. What does that mean? He was Nico's heavy. I figured he'd leave once the police gave the all clear. Trust me, if he's still here, he's up to something. Your boss would be smart to get rid of him. 
I'm not sure how the employee works when all the employees hate each other. Yeah, this company this company is doomed to failure. The employees hate each other and stop each other from working. And um, Mason has a huge grudge uh, against Nico, actually. Did you work directly with Nico? No one worked with Nico. We barely spoke to each other. That's the way he liked it. He practically lived in the lab. If he wanted to look at my work, he'd just root around in my hard drive. So he'd come in here when you were gone? No, he'd use the network. He'd just snoop in your files? That seems kind of annoying. Not kind of. Entirely. It's unethical, and it allowed him to steal. Goodbye. See you later. See you later. Okay, so that's it for him. What are you doing? Oh, okay, he won't let me snoop in Ellie's area, though. He will not let me do that. So let's meet Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Ryan. Hello. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Are we cool? Um, yes. Good. I was really hoping you'd be the type not to freak out about something like that. Not that you shouldn't. It's reasonable to freak out after a near-death experience. Not that that was super near death, but you know, closer than what you get walking through most doors. It's okay. I'm fine. Good. I had a whole argument prepared about labs and the risks of working with machinery and the importance of forgiveness. Do you want me to hit all the bullet points? Uh, that's not necessary. Are you sure? I practiced. No, I, I get it. I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Nancy. I'm here to see if you're a murderer. You snuck in without logging in the day before the murder. Why? I... I lost my key. It happens. Isn't this place extremely well secured? The labs are. Building... I have my tricks. And no, I'm not sharing. But you just broke into the lab. Uh, yeah... So what do you do here, exactly? What do you do at the lab? I'm so sorry, but I have to ask why you're here? Why are you here? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here to do due diligence for a potential new owner. I'm sorry, I'm an adult and there's nothing funny about what you just said. Whoa, wait! Back to the information. We're getting a new owner? Maybe, but first I need to ask some intrusive questions. Oh. I know you've gotten enough of this, I really do, but... It's my job. I've done worse things for my job. Like what? I build tools. They're not always used in a good way. What do you mean by that? I couldn't tell you about it if I wanted to. Confidentiality. She's probably referring to Nico's death. The part that was responsible for Nico's death is missing. Do you know where it went? No. Are you sure? You sound like you're not telling me something. I destroyed it. It's gone. Why destroy it? Because I made it! You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please. I made it, so I destroyed it! <laughs> okay. This could help getting into the lab. Okay, so this is the cool lab key card. And actually, both of those things are, are for making the, the lab key card. Fantastic. And that's where she puts her spare USB devices. Great, she's back. Yeah, I'm back. Who do you think killed Nico? A little part of me thinks it's Gray. Why? I'm a little scared of him. Him? He's not scary at all. Don't underestimate him. Those two had a strange relationship. They fought constantly. Not sure why. Bye. Later. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm not that scary. Jeez. What's up? Why did you scream earlier? Are you okay? I'll never be okay again. What is that thing? An abomination of technology. It's some creepy robotic cat that someone, I suspect Mason, is tormenting me by leaving all of its awful parts everywhere. I've seen one of those before. If I find all of the pieces, I bet I could put it together. 
As long as you promise to throw it into a fiery volcano once it's completed. That thing is the undisputed mayor of Nightmare Town. I'll let you go. Later. So, we, we basically have a, a hidden objects challenge. We need to find all the pieces of that robot cat. It's going to take a while. That's an extreme overreaction to finding, like, a severed cat's head. Actually, that's not an extreme overreaction. I think that's a, that's a normal reaction. That's creepy. So here's a, a cat part. And let's switch to nighttime. So now we're, we're going to do the, the card puzzle. Oh, Deirdre? Hey there, champ. How's my favorite buddy? What do you want, Deirdre? What do I want? This is about what you want, Nancy Drew. Is that so? It cannot be more so. I come bearing apologies. I want to help you, Nancy Drew. I want to be your girl on the inside of the exciting world of criminology. Why the sudden change of heart? Because apparently it still counts as plagiarism if you pay someone to write your paper. I mean, is capitalism dead? Because that's what it seems like. And you want to help me because... I made a bargain with my prof. If I can help an actual murder investigation, I'll get credit. So I help you, you help me collect data for my paper, and balance is restored to the universe. How exactly can you help me? I've got permission to use our criminal database. In fact, I already read up on the case. That could come in handy. All right, it's a deal. Great. Call when you need help, and I'll do what I can. Just don't call me when I'm busy. Will so, do. So, Deirdre's, Deirdre's a terrible person who tried to pay someone to write her paper for her. Now she's in big trouble and has to help Nancy. So let's see. I think we talked to her about Ryan. You read up on the case, right? I don't understand why Ryan was under so much scrutiny, but never sent to trial. From what I gathered, something didn't add up with the video and the timeline. Someone had to be in the lab with Nico. Otherwise, he'd still be here today. So, if her alibi stands up, it couldn't be her. Exactly. Unless there's something big I'm missing. Something's weird about this whole thing. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Figure this out. I asked her about the night of the murder. She was pretty much mute. I'm undercover here. I can't push too hard. Can you see what you can find on your end? I'll see what I can find. All I've got is the database. Don't expect any miracles. Sounds good. So, I think we need to get more specific. That doesn't sound good. Ellie might want to know about this. We need to get more specific information. Oh, oh, wait, I need to get rid of Gray here. Okay, yeah, we need more specific information about Ryan's alibi. Uh, what is her alibi? Do we even know what her alibi is yet? Uh, no. So we need to learn that before we can disprove it. Okay, so here... We are gonna do this. Put the blank card in there. Take that thingy, my bobber. And key cards, the password. G G U H Z. Woo! So, um, let's see if we can get this puzzle figured out. Ooh, wow. Um,. It's like Master Sleuth mode. Should I try doing this legitimately, or should I try cheating the solution? So this is going to have to go here, and then this is probably a 2x2. Two two. Like, I can't even see where the, the green 2x2 two two piece goes. It looks like we've got three green pieces. It could be like this. And this is the large green piece. Yeah, let's say that's um, where that one goes.
Wow, equal votes for cheat and legit. Um, all right. Let's see. This big piece is going to have to go here. Uh, we saw this from... What's that game? Uh, the Silent... Si no, not the Silent Spy. This was in... Uh, cheat legitimately. Yes. Okay, no. We saw this piece. We saw this puzzle. Okay, I'm going to cheat it. Yeah. We saw this puzzle, and Nancy drew um, the captive curse. This is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so this is piece number one, and then piece number two is going to go above it. And then piece number three is going to be this big red one, which is turned. Piece number four is going to be uh, the, the blue square right here. Piece number five is going to be the, the little blue square, little light blue, and I need to turn it. And piece number six is going to be the, the, the really big square. No, the smaller green square. Piece number seven is going to be yellow, middle yellow. So let's get this middle yellow here. And it's gonna be turned like this. Piece number eight is gonna be big green and I need to turn it. Piece number nine is gonna be small orange and I'm gonna have to turn that too. Piece number 10 is going to be small yellow, and I put it like that. So, yeah. You can kind of... It's kind of difficult to see here, because it looks like there's no border between this this orange and that orange there. Huh. Well, whatever. Where's piece number 11? Piece number 11 is... going to be square here. And then piece number 12 is going to be this one and it's gonna go up here I'm gonna put it on top of that uh, piece number 13 is gonna be this big blue one this big blue one it's gonna cover up these two and then 14 is gonna be turned so it's gonna look like this No, 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 down there, 14's. And 15's gonna be green like this. And 16 like that. Hopefully that works. Okay, so you see all these symbols in his office. That was the clue for the puzzle, like Z, R, and then F. Those were all the numbers for his password. One was in Ryan's area. I need a car to get in the lab. I guess this one doesn't work. That one failed. That one was wrong, everyone. Where did I mess up? So let's see if I can figure out where on earth I messed up. Um, uh, let's see. That looks good. That looks good. Um, like this maybe. Yeah, maybe it was it was the the top ones, I think. Let's throw these back. So what if this was it was turned and then up here? And let's just say it's all the way up top like that. Okay, people are saying brown square piece. Um okay, that could be it. I'll check that next time. If It's locked. No! Oh! Oh! This is just a mean puzzle. Okay, so red corner um, needs to be up one. No, I don't see that. Okay, this looks good. 
That looks good. See, even when cheating, this puzzle's impossible. That looks good. That looks good. That looks perfect. Wow. I'm really... I'm really not seeing um, where the mistake was. The the blue, okay. Oh, now now this blue needs to be overlapping the pink that time. So then, like, redo these four pieces at the end. Now, blue over pink. Yeah, wow. This is why Gray doesn't like uh, like it when Ellie loses her card. He has to do that puzzle. We've solved it. We did it, everyone. Woo! We are amazing. Okay, so that's a book. That's the thing for a puzzle. I think those are... I think that's it for that area. Okay, puzzles. That's going to be a puzzle. This looks dangerous. I should make sure I know what I'm doing before I start. Dangerous puzzle. Check. And check that off of my checklist. The red must mean it's locked. I bet if I turn everything blue, it'll open. So I think this is the same as that puzzle we had in uh, uh, the, the one game. Uh, blackout. Or right, right? In um, game number 20, Ransom of the Seven Ships. Cool. And... Actually, that was pretty easy to solve. So we found some some of this so we could make uh, that that formula when we have to. This is broken. Something must be broken. Yeah, we need to notice things are broken here so we can ask Ryan to fix them. Hmm, I think I need the key for that. And this is going to be... Um, an etching device. Woo! Hello? Woo! That's the uh, 3D printer. That's the machine Gray made us fix. And here's the other lab. That must be where the switch goes. It looks like something is missing. Here's the missing part. We're going to have to print it out on the 3D printer. Mm, it looks like some capacitors are missing. There must be spares somewhere. Capacitors are missing. Oh, boy. And let's see. I think we can break into this area. I need to find something that'll help figure out the code. Oh, I don't have the clue for that code yet. Well, that's in Ellie's area. And uh, let's get rid of Ellie. So that weird sound. Uh, a little bit earlier, Nancy said, Oh, I need a... Uh... Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. I bet Ellie can help with this. That's your cue to go see Ellie and then get rid of her. Sorry, Ellie, but I'm just, I'm just talking to you so I can get rid of you. Ooh, in Mason's area. Mess up his stuff and steal his robot cat leg. Why does he have cars? I don't know. Oh, Nancy? What's up? Who else was here the night Nico died? Gray. I think that's it. Why do you and Mason work opposite schedules? I'm a night, Ellie. Any other reason? And as a good southern girl... I know if you don't have anything good to say, you keep it zipped, like this. Is the hall just outside the lab supposed to hum? Nope. Do, 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 do. So we get to steal her stuff. Okay, this is the, the puzzle for her phone of 21, and that's her key card number. Ah, there's the key. Okay, what what was the thing I saw that was locked? Okay, and this is the control booth password. Yes. I just saw something which needed a key. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The photolithography lab. These could be useful. And we have some capacitors. Nice. Haven't done that. Repair the Tesla coil. Okay, so should we try to fix the coil? 
do we want to fix the coil or do we want to go to Ryan? Uh, those are basically the two things we can do here at this point in the game. Periodic table of the elements. I need the card that's in her desk. Oh, I forgot a card in Ellie's desk. Okay, well then let's go back. Yeah, finding Nico's notes are important too. Yep, yep, yep. So that's in this drawer. I need to find a way to play this. Card. this. Okay, so... More votes for Ryan than um, puzzles. So yeah, let's go to Ryan and ask her to solve puzzles. <laughs> yeah, the capacitor's puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to worry about this stuff until later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's do some fun times with Ryan. She wants candy, and candy is delicious. Oh, oh, this is cool. Who's there? Hello? I think it's the culprit just showing up and Who's smashing that? the door to be mean and scary. Ah. <clears throat> A little privacy, please? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't, I didn't. I, I wasn't trying to spy on you. Okay, that's awkward. Let's go see Ryan. Hi. Do you know how I can play a media card? Yeah, Nico's personal player. I meant to fix it earlier. Get me some Coco Mallows from Nico's office, and I'll have it working for you. From the candy machine? How exactly does that thing work? Here, this should do the trick. Thanks. I need to rebuild the missing part from the large Tesla coil. Can you help me out? I think I've got the plans here. Yep. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. Working here, I forgot that phrase existed. Do you know how I can get the little Tesla coil in the lab to work? The circuit board is shot. You seem like you know what's up. I bet you could make a new one yourself. You'll find everything you need in the photo lab. Bye. Bye. Wow. Okay, so just just chores. Nancy gets a lot of chores to do. Oh, well. Mmm. Yeah, Coco Mellows. Oh, so yummy. Is it Ryan's job to fix everything, or, or I, I'm not entirely sure. Is this the Ryan's control plate job Ryan that gave me should help with this. It's probably not Ryan's job to eat a bunch of candy, but what do I know? Hmm, it looks like a memory lock. Pink. Pink. Blue. Clink. Uh, blue and green. Pink, blue, green, green. Pink, blue, green, green, blue. Pink, blue, green, green, blue, pink. Okay. Green, oh no. Oh no, it's not done. Green, blue, pink, green, blue. Be the last one, please. No. Green, green, blue, pink, green, blue, pink. Got it. Woo! Okay, so Coco Mallows here. 
Great, just what Ryan wanted. Yes, Ryan is uh, encouraging a non-engineer to mess with dangerous electrical engineering stuff. It's not that tough. I, I, I think I know what's up. Uh, I can make a new one in the lab. Let's see. So this is the thing I need the key for, right? Need one of those silicon wafers. I need to connect all of the circuits. And then I need to connect all of the circuits here. I guess Nancy just said that. I didn't have to repeat it. Um, yeah. That one's gonna have to go like that. Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. Give me one second here, everybody. Unless this piece goes like this. Yeah, there we go. That's how we have to solve it. Okay. I think I can solve this puzzle. I think I can do it legitimately. I will try. No, that no, that could be correct. As soon as I find a, a piece to connect this to, then I'll be done. Yes. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. This looks wrong because I'd have to connect like everything here at the very end. See, that piece obviously has to go like that. Um, that piece like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Never mind. It looks like I'm doing pretty well here. Um, yeah, uh, well, how do I get these other ones attached? Something like this. Yeah. All done. Now it's time to etch the design. Yep, so that was the same puzzle in, uh, Alibi and Ashes. That's a pretty good puzzle. I like it. So now I need to etch the design with um do, 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 do. So I presume we're making the the one with hydrofluoric acid, nitric acid and water. Okay, silicon wafer. So it's going to need two that, two that and two water. Which one's nitric acid? Is it HNO3? So yeah, water explodes. People wanted me to show explodey water. Check this out. So we have a water solution. Kaboom. Woo! Mixing chemicals is like deciding where everybody sits at a wedding reception. Some are pleasant and some make everything explode. So let's see. So I wanted uh, two to two to one. So let's get two hydrofluoric acid and let's see if I can get that. Two hydrofluoric acid. So let's see. Four, then pour into three. That's one. And then I dump that. And then I'll do that again. Four to three, leaving one in the four. Okay, great. And nitric acid, let's presume that's HNO3. So we also needed two of that. And then let's do one of water. Oh no, that was three of water. Oh great, now I need to throw the entire thing out. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, that's kind of unforgiving. Okay. One HF. Two 
two HF. One HNO three. Two HNO three. Oh, weird noises. Okay, and then one H2O. Okay, got it. Okay, whew. Did not die. So, let's read the instructions. Let's see. So, um, one, two, three, and then four. Hmm. I put something in here. The formula? Yes. Then the wafer. Hmm. No, okay. Then the design. Then the wafer. Then start. And it takes half a day to complete. So we'll come back here during nighttime in order to solve that puzzle. I mean, the puzzle's basically solved. We'll, we'll just pick it up and, and it'll work now. Okay, Ryan, I got your Coco Mallows. Hi. Here's the candy bar you wanted. Great. I'll start fixing it right now. As well you should. Pick up that robot cat head. Can't check that off yet. So we need to uh, do a couple of other things to fix the Tesla coil. I might have gotten those two Tesla coils confused, but that's okay because we have to fix both of them. We need to do these plans. So the, uh, the plans for the uh, Master Sleuth thing. Grab the robot cattail there. It's going to be on Mason's computer here. Oh, I probably should listen to that diary there. Okay, I'll try to remember to listen to that audio diary next time I go past. I need to rebuild Ryan's part. So Ryan gave us the designs for this part. Let's see if I can actually solve this puzzle. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm failed. Uh, okay, no. There we go, one. No. No. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it, yeah, it's really hard. Okay, one, two, three. Let's just start with this left-hand side here. Yes. Okay, looks like it's gonna have pieces like that. Yeah, yeah, and then three on top, and then two down. There, from that side. Great. Now let's see if I can do, say, the front side. Mm, and there's gonna be there's gonna be more pieces there. So it's really tough. Okay. No, no. Layer three is gonna have pieces like that. Yes. Somebody said, uh, mess with the paper clips. Paper clips have been messed with. <laughs> Forgot what I just did. Okay. Okay, we'll tell you what, I will cheat on this puzzle for uh, that level. Oh, that's crazy times. Okay, so that's layer three. That's the correct solution for layer three. I guess it matches with here. So let's see. Yes. Yeah, so this angle must be that one. Yeah, that must be that angle. So with layer two, I'm gonna need pieces like this. Yeah, 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 and then layer Three is not going to need a piece like that. Layer four, 
is gonna need pieces there. Pieces there. Pieces there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pieces there. Because that's... This is totally looking like this piece from that angle. Except we're gonna have more pieces on the bottom somewhere, I imagine. Okay. That looks good. Now let's turn it um, once. So that's gonna be this this angle. Okay, so this is gonna need a piece down in this layer. Oh, come on, I can find it. No. I'm trying to find this missing piece. It looks like there should be many of the missing pieces. Okay. Yes? No? Yes? Yes? Yes! Okay, that looks a lot better. So that should be, um... I've got this side looking pretty good. This side looking pretty good. And Nancy should tell us when we've got the correct solution. This side's looking pretty good. Oh, it's missing a piece. So that's fine. Where's that layer one piece that should go there? There's that layer one piece. And then we're also missing this piece in layer two. If I can find it. Was that it? No. That's it. Yes. Okay, so that's layer three. Uh, and then this angle... Um, that has an empty spot there. Good. That looks pretty good. So let's see. Um, do we have it looking beautiful? No. Nancy, Nancy says something when you've got it correct. So I was missing this piece. Yeah, that's a piece. I think that's right. Got it. Okay. Yeah, wow, that's that's a hard to miss piece. Uh, a hard to find piece, easy to miss. So let's print it out. Whew. We did it. I do like how they, they have like a trivia night. I really, really don't think trivia night is a good idea here at the lab. I think they would all try to kill each other, um, to be quite honest. So it was the second one, and the 3D printer takes uh, all night to, to finish. So now I've got this printed out. I can work the Tesla coil, the small one. Pretty cool. So let's see. I will um, get that part printed out. You know, it's going to take forever to print it out. Uh, let's let's switch to daytime. You want to do this in daytime? Let's switch to daytime. Yeah. Woo! And now the piece should have printed. Great. Time to replace the capacitors like Ryan's note in the book described. It's Ryan's note in the book. I know the junior mode solution, and that's not going to work here, but I'm still going to do the junior mode solution to show it off. And I'm going to hope that I can go from this to an actual senior mode solution that works. So is it always gonna look like this? 
So I, I have this diagonal here with the reds, like that. So this way no row or column has a repeating color. Now in senior mode, all the diagonals can't have repeating colors either. So I think I have to do this, and then I have to uh, basically move the pieces around. Let's see. Um, hmm. It's not going to be easy to move these pieces around, is it? So if I did something like this. Nope, that's not good. Okay. If I did something like that, that's not good either. can I put next to it? Not that. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to like turn these upside down a bit in order to get this to work. So something like that. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, so does this have any uh, diagonals? Yep, no, no, no diagonals there. This is missing diagonals, so what if I turn this upside down? Uh, that won't work because then we have that purple diagonal there. So if I switch this diagonal upside down, yeah, that won't work because then we have purple there. So something like that. We'll see if we can get these pieces together. And this is where the diagonal rule is really going to start killing me, right? Yeah. Nope, because that's a bunch of reds in the top corner. Okay. Wow, okay. Let's see if we can get this figured out. Might have to um, cheat this solution. Okay, so it's going to be blue, purple. It's basically going to be diagonal. Uh, I, I mean, at the top. At the top, so let's go with this. So there's a blue above an orange here. And then it's going to be green above a yellow. Like that. So green, blue, and then purple. Basically rainbow colors. Um, and then the rainbow colors red, orange, and then yellow. It's going to be like that. So red... And then where's orange? Where's an orange? Orange above a purple. Yellow above a blue. That's most of the yellows. So that means the final color has to be this this one, right? Okay, so let's hope I got that correct. That has to go like that, otherwise we have a weird diagonal. And then this big piece um, didn't go anywhere. Why, why did the big piece not go anywhere? I guess the big piece has to go here. Yeah, that's probably it. All right. Done. Okay. Whew. I have the clues I need. Time to figure out the correct sequence. And this puzzle, I think, is the same on junior mode and, uh, I mean, master sleuth mode and amateur sleuth mode. So it's going to be purple square, uh, purple square, red, red uh, diamond, blue circle, and yellow triangle. And we're going to press them in this order. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. Yeah, that puzzle's a lot easier to cheat. It's like, okay, once you once you know the uh, colors, you just press them, and it's done. Here's the Tesla coil. 
What are you doing? Uh-oh, got in trouble. That coil is deadly. Mess with that again, I'll be the least of your worries. Get out! What were you doing in the lab? I had a hunch I needed to follow up on. A hunch? I have a hunch. If you keep screwing around in the lab, you'll either end up fired or dead. Stay out of the lab! Oh, but I wanted to play with the lab. Check. And I fixed the Tesla coil. Woo! Okay, so now let's listen to these audio diaries. It's Wednesday. I've clocked 49 hours of work this week. I oh found man, another note guy from Ryan on my non -stop. door this morning. This time a threat. She continues to surprise. She's smarter than she looks. And then later she confronted me by the couch in the lounge and handed me another of her threats. I didn't bother taking it with me. That's the important thing we need to listen to. So, uh, there's a threat by the couch in the lounge. This one? If you're smart enough, you're smart enough to know what's gonna happen if you don't stop. Nico, consider what I'm saying. If you run the coil in that configuration, it's going to kill you. For last time, no, I won't do it. Whoa, better follow up on this. And also, on the night of the 24th, I will be in person at the Visionaries in Science Conference. Well, that's her alibi, Deirdre. We know her alibi. Can we get the alibi? Hey there, Nancy Drew. Let's see. Ryan's been sneaking into the facility. I think she might be trying to avoid ending up in the security logs. Just spitballing here. But do you think you could take her in a fair fight? What kind of question is that? The kind of question you ask someone who is kicking it with killers. You seem pretty certain she's guilty. The first thing you learn in criminology is that most cases are easy. The person who looks guilty usually is. I don't know about that. What do you know about surveillance video? That you watch it? Have you heard of cases where the video has been faked? Oh yeah, all the time. How can you tell if the video's been edited in some way? It's getting harder and harder to tell. But the number one thing you need to do is to make sure that you've got the original video feed. If you don't, analyzing the data file isn't going to do you much good. Is there a way to know if I have the original? Yeah, that's the detective part. Not in my wheelhouse. I need you to check on 911 calls the night of the murder. Consider it done. I'll text you the results. Okay, I thought we talked to uh, Deirdre about the, uh, the alibi. And this is the office use. Hmm. This is where we can do office things. Let's listen to the rest of uh, Nico's audio diaries. That's done. Oh yeah, oh, I checked off the, uh, the investigating the threats. Okay, uh, the rest of the diaries then. Let's see what number two is. The coil as is, it's little more than a plaything. I can't get the proper flow using the original design. I've got schematics drawn up for an entirely new prototype, but maybe that step isn't necessary. The math is solid, and the small-scale experiments are running at an efficiency of about 80%, and that's using the old design. I checked in on Mason's work today. He has the strangest attraction to exactly the work I'd most like him to avoid. I'm starting to question if he knows what he's toying with. I've made my message to him clear, yet he keeps going back to the rough materials application portion of the process. Perhaps it's time Gray tightens up the network to keep him in line. Maybe it's time to replace him. He's been less of an asset than I expected anyway. Oh my. I'm finding myself spending more and more time down in my study in a state somewhere near sleep. Viewing the schematics in my mind, looking for flaws. Doesn't make sense that I'm finding none. Doesn't make sense at all. Okay, let's talk to Ryan. Do, 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 do. What's up? I found these notes in the lounge. Is this your handwriting? Yes. So you admit to threatening Nico? Uh huh. It looks like a threat, but it really isn't. What else could it possibly be? It says right here. I know what it says. Then what? A warning. 
It means just what it says. He wanted me to build something that could kill him. I had to make sure he knew what he was working with. Do you have anything to prove that's true? You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please. It's a very threatening warning, indeed. A very threatening warning. And what's that text message? So, guess who waited 30 minutes before calling 911? Ellie? Really? Hmm. Well, I think now that I've confronted Ryan, I can ask Deirdre to check out the alibi. Ryan was threatening Nico. I found one of her notes. What's it say? Unless you're dying to see the inside of a body bag, I suggest you rethink your plans. I admire the directness. Well, good. I was hoping this paper would be short. Ryan says the notes were taken out of context. Say what now? Yep. Yeah, in my experience, no one buys that line. Yeah, those, those were pretty threatening notes. Did you find anything on Ryan? Nancy, Ryan's alibi stands up. She couldn't have killed Nico. What? How do you know? She told the police that she won an award. That was her alibi. But it left her with enough time to sneak back in. It wasn't airtight. Close, but not perfect. There was nothing in the crime database. But I had a hunch. I went to the journalism lab and used their photographer database. The ceremony was a national story, so a bunch of freelancers put their shots up for sale. You found pictures of Ryan, but what does that prove? By itself, nothing. But two, count them, two different photographers submitted photos of Ryan standing near a visible clock. She couldn't have made it back in time. Yes, that was the finale I was building to and was excited to get to say out loud that you interrupted. Oh, Deirdre, you're amazing. That is a genuine compliment. Okay. I'm working on tracking down the photographers, but it could take weeks. For now, it looks like Ryan's in the clear. All right. So, Deirdre was helpful and cleared our main suspect. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were starting to enjoy working with me. <sighs> no. It's just that I'm bored and... I'm completely out of episodes of TDPD. TDPD? Is that a... What is that? The best show on television. Ever. And you've never heard of it? Nancy, he was a linebacker and now he's a crime tracker. Ring a bell? Officer Downs? Anything? Sorry, never heard of it. Sometimes it's like you live on Mars. That would be an awesome TV show. I don't know who to focus on now that Ryan's been cleared. I can't help you there. Whoever did this was very calculating. It's sort of too bad that the rest of your suspects are scientists. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we investigated Check. Ryan, and next task is to call Victor. Victor, my man! Victor here. So, Ryan's innocent. I found a way to prove that Ryan's innocent. It wasn't her. What? What do you mean? Photos from her award ceremony prove she couldn't have made it to the lab in time. It's not possible. That can't be true. All of that evidence, I'm sure it was her. Deirdre's working on getting the photos over to the police now. They'll reopen the case and everything will just stall out again. Okay, what's my next move then? I don't know. I have to think. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so Victor is very, very upset right now. <laughs> Check. Haven't done that. So now we need to find out who really killed Nico. That's not a very helpful, um, helpful, uh, task to do, right? It doesn't really tell you what you need to do next. But hey, let's talk to Ryan now that she's been cleared. Hi. You really are innocent. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Don't be sorry. It's the smartest course of action. Look, I gotta ask you. You're not really here for a new investor. You're here to look into what happened to Nico, aren't you? Yes. I figured the questions you were asking were a little odd considering. I believe someone from this lab killed Nico. Anything you need from me, you got it. 
Why are you being so helpful? Nico may have had some crazy, downright dangerous ideas, but he was a good man. His killer deserves to be punished, whoever it is. I better get going. Later. Yeah. So anything you need from me, I'll do it. Unless it involves doing my own job in those chores, in which case you're on your own. Yes, Victor is very, very mad. Angry Beard is angry. And... Uh, ow, my head! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, Victor's really mad because he thought Nancy had solved the case. Oh, no! But she it's didn't. Locked. And it's locked! Help! 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 Hello? Nancy? Is that you? Are you okay? I'm locked in! Me too! There's no air flowing in! How do I get out? I'm locked in the booth! I can't get over there to help! Oh no! Look around, there should be some oxygen tanks! I don't see any! So, Nancy is trapped, and it's very, very sad. It's, it's, it's sad, but Nancy will escape through here. It's pretty hot in here. I'd better find my way out as quickly as possible. Let's see if I can find my way out of here. Uh, I don't know how to get through this maze. I'll just follow the, 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 the way of just, I'm always going along the right-hand side. Ooh, is this it? No, that was right back where I started. Okay. It's pretty hot in here. I'd better find my way out as quickly as possible. Because I'm told that's a strategy that gets you through mazes. Could be wrong. Let's follow with my arm along the right hand side. What is that gonna look like? This case it doesn't really help. No. Nancy's got a limited time. Okay. Yeah, this maze is different on Master Sleuth and Amateur Sleuth modes. So it's way more difficult on Master Sleuth mode. I didn't get all turned around there. Um, you could do this, Nancy. You could do this. No, 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 no. Please, please, please work. What are you doing? Got here? it. Back off, old man. I said, what are you doing here? And while I'm at it, what's in the bag? And I said, back off. Hey, let go! I don't want to see you here screwing around after hours. Are you crazy? This is mine. Leave me alone. Yeah, you better run. Woo! What were they arguing about? <laughs> Don't know, but let's check in with Angry Beard. See, see what his Angry Beard is up to now. Hi, Nancy. Look, I wanted to apologize for how our last conversation ended. I just want this investigation over. I was so sure it was Ryan. I guess I was just blinded by how much I wanted to wrap things up. I can understand that. The more I think of it, I'm glad it's not her. She always made the place a little more fun. I guess it's time to take a long look at everyone else. Keep an eye out. As we narrow in on the suspect, things might get a little dangerous. How did you hear about me? Through a close friend. You've impressed a lot of people, Nancy. Someone knocked me out. What? Are you okay? I am now, but I woke up in a photo lab and someone turned the oxygen off. I could have died. What are you talking about? The air was off. I think someone was trying to kill me. I'm sure it was an accident. Why did you hire me and not a big investigation firm? The crew has been questioned a lot as you can imagine. Everyone's defenses are up. You can pull off the undercover work without drawing too much suspicion. I know it's a long shot, but I've heard good things. And... 
I already tried the buy the book way, and that got me nowhere. I better get going. Bye. Okay, Angry Beard is Still slightly have to do less that. angry. So, what was up with Mason? Why was he sneaking around after hours? What's this? What's he doing in there? What? Are you okay? So, let's see. Uh, Gray was shredding something. Say your piece, then leave me in mine. What were you shredding? Nothing. It didn't seem like nothing. Leave it alone. Top secret documents. I found the cure for the coronavirus, but it was too dangerous, so I had to shred it. What were you saying to Mason earlier? Nothing you need to worry about. You seemed a little angry. I was. This guy has an angry beard as well. I got locked in the lab and almost died. That's so? Yes. Someone turned off the oxygen. I had to crawl out the vent. Hmm, smart. Most wouldn't have thought of that. Do you have any idea what happened? Hmm, nope. I could have died in there. This is a lab. It's not to be taken lightly. Forget that and you will end up dead. Yeah, and somebody in chat is asking about Ellie. Ellie said she was trapped in the control booth. Um, did Ellie get out? Why were you so concerned about what Mason was up to? He was messing with tech he didn't understand. I had to make sure he didn't do anything stupid. I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need to figure out what he was shredding. Ellie... Is Ellie okay? Ellie? Are you still locked in here? I could... Ellie? Where did you... Ellie? Huh. Well, hopefully she got saved. I hope. So let's get rid of, uh, let's get rid of Gray. And he was shredding... Aha, that. The no, he kill wasn't. switch for the Tesla coil. Why does Gray have it? I bet I could tape this back together. Yes, clearly that stuff. Okay, great. So we're going to tape it back together. I need to figure out what was on this page before Gray shredded it. Let's see, the red parts all go together, so... That's probably the only easy part about this puzzle. Yeah, it's a big jigsaw puzzle. I think here on Master Swift mode, the pieces are slightly smaller. Now, there we go. I got two pieces together like that. Get all these pieces out of the way for now. That would be helpful. Just turn them aside. The pieces are going up and down, so uh, we don't really need these sideways pieces anywhere. Okay, there we go. Okay, so... Yes... Here, got it. This piece is gonna have to turn like that, right? So I can get them connected. Okay, now let's see uh, the next part. Probably getting the uh, the writing um, correct. This is all upside down. Oh, these two pieces probably go together, right? Yeah, that looks that looks good. So 
So, excessive corona breakouts. Ah, I told you he was writing about the coronavirus. I told you. I told you. Reduced. He was able to reduce the coronavirus? That's good news. That's very, very good news. So do those things go together? Hmm, yeah. Maybe the picture in the middle is uh, the next big thing to put together. Yeah, let's go with the the picture in the middle. That's upside down. Let's see, I think this is the word, like, higher. And let's see, possible military applications. Where's the letter Y? Yeah. Yep, there we go. Okay, those go together like that. Good. Excessive corona breakouts reduce electrostatic shielding levels now ideal possible military applications place in safe keeping. This is the safe keeping. Yes. So we're gonna, now that we know where his safe place is, we're just gonna break into it because that's what Nancy Drew does. Oh, come on. I thought those pieces would go together. Hmm, I guess they don't. That goes in the middle before those two pieces connect. Yes. Yes. Got most of it done. And now we can try to get these uh, the other ones here. Those go together. Factor. Circuit. Yeah, those have to be together, right? Circuit factor. I guess they don't. Wow, okay. Hmm. Yeah, gosh, okay. Let's see. So, this word, system. And then this is possible. This looked really good, but uh, it's not it. trying these pieces just everywhere. Nothing's matching. Okay. There we go. That works. Really? Okay. Higher Q factor possible. Lower RH dissipation factor with modification SC42. System calibrated to latest test settings. Sine wave generator indicating frequency. Got it. Resonant now circuits to find a way to between take this primary with and secondary me. causing interference. What was put into safekeeping? I'd better look into that. Okay, so safekeeping. Yes. So let's break into Gray's area again. Is he still gone? He's still gone. Okay, great. Gray's shredded notes seem to mention this was important. Let's see, that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I don't quite remember this. Let's start Gray's this over again. Gray's shredded notes seem to mention this was important. So three on the right. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's how you spin everything to perfectly match his picture. 
that's the video. Emails, angry emails from Nico to Gray. Keep out of the lab. I have work to do in the lab. My lab, stay out of my Get lab. Get out of there. Oh no! No, 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 no. So, Gray Court Wright, a doctor of physics from Kingston University. What's someone with a PhD doing? Get out of there. Jeez. Okay, let's just leave and come back. We don't have that much time. Okay, jeez. So let me take a look. So this was one seven one nine four three. So yeah, this is how you spell his name, Court Wright. His degree accidentally put a W in his name where it doesn't belong. Well, no wonder he hides it. He doesn't want anybody to know. Let me just reset to nighttime. That should reset that timer to get rid of him. Yeah, more like he got a PhD in being a meany, meany, meany moo. Yeah, wow, they totally misspelled his name on his degree. What's someone with a PhD doing working in security? No wonder he hides his degree. Okay, and that is a video. That's a pretty cool video. So let's watch this cool, cool video. Six five one zero oh, two five nine. Did I get that wrong? These are these are hard to type in video numbers. Gray? Is this the unedited tape? If it is... Dun, dun, wait, dun, dun, dun. what's that code in the corner? So there's a top secret code in the corner, corner and we need to get uh, Ryan to analyze that. In the meantime, uh, let's go to Ellie's area. Ellie should not... Ellie, Ellie shouldn't be here. Uh, let's see. Is there something new I can steal from Ellie? I hope she's okay. Strange. Here it is. What's Ellie up to with this? So I don't know how Ellie got this, but it's a puzzle. Sure hope Ellie's still alive. That's what I hope. Um... Last time we heard from her, she was trapped in the lab, and yeah. So this is sort of a, a, an educational puzzle. So you need to read all these various books to learn what these things are. Lots of books, and then the uh, periodic table of the elements. To solve this puzzle, you want to pull the, the books in this order. Condemned elephant was Topsy. And then V equals IR is Ohm's Law. That was written in Mason's area. And then Tesla's good friend was Mark Twain. And then element number 74 is Tungsten. Incorrect radio patent holder is Marconi. The expo site was Chicago. And Sagramore's fellow knight was Lancelot. Site gives us an audio journal, 
and a fancy book. Let's listen to the audio journal while I solve that book puzzle. Friday. The hours have gone negative this week. What was the news Nico of the announcement has gone on? far beyond what Is I wanted. Some sort of I've code? lost control over it, and we're not ready. Gray's been helping me comb through all the unsuitable work. I've had to step up my own security. I can't be too careful now. The mood in the lab has been tense for a long time, but there has been a shift. So here we're duplicating the numbers that were upstairs on the binary thing. That's what I'm doing for this puzzle. A sudden calmness to my enemies as of late, as if they're planning something. Paranoia has always come creeping into the back reaches of my mind when I stretch myself too far, but I've not been overextended. Quite the opposite. Everything has been going smoothly with the energy project. This, I fear, isn't paranoia. I find myself unable to trust anyone here, but I can't leave the work. Play every not until fifth it's letter above There's on the There's electricity in everything, but okay, we don't know how to see I'll it because we try. perceive it to be scarce. Always looking for exotic solutions. Exotic and costly. Victor once warned me to take it easy with the announcement. The world economy is built on expensive energy. To flood the market could cause a collapse, but to continue to hide the resources we have, to deprive those who need them? I see why Tesla liked his pigeons. They fly only where they're directed, and never question the effect the beating of their wings will have These on the skies the world. must be the notes Nico mentioned to play. Cool. So it sounds like Nico was about to discover something super fantabulous and fantastic. Free energy for everyone. Yes, and then everybody will have, uh, you know, everybody will have free energy. That would be so awesome. Okay, so um, the notes are A, G, B. Oh, I don't know which ones are... Okay. Like, which ones are the uppercase ones and which ones are the lowercase ones is, is my question here. So let's say these ones are uppercase and then this one's lowercase. So it'd be A, G, B, E, G, A, G, D, B, C, G, E, F, D, C. What's this? Done. Okay, so uh, that reveals this. The closer I come to an answer, the more I appreciate the magnitude of this discovery. I fear I can no longer trust those around me. I cannot allow my research to go wasted, unknown. So to find the hidden knowledge, illuminate a black light under the glow. So, now we need to get a black light, and that's in Ryan's area. We needed to talk to Ryan anyway, right? So let's just uh, switch to daytime. Talk to Ryan. Do, 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 do. And I think there's another um, puzzle over here on the left, too. Uh, there, uh, yeah, here we go. I need to figure out whose card this is. Yeah, this is the this is the card that was used on the night of the murder. I need to get this to add up correctly. Oh my gosh. Uh, can I keep the phone? No, I can't. Okay. So numbers 1 through 13... And you want everything to equal 21, correct? So, uh, oh gosh, okay. 13 divided by, no, it can't be five in the middle. Seven in the middle. 12, seven, uh, uh, no. They all have to equal 21. Okay, so that means with seven in the middle, everything has to equal 14. So 12 plus two is 14. And 4 plus 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has to be 14 because the last digit is 13, right? So that's why 7 goes in the middle. Okay, does that make any sense? So if 7 goes in the middle, um, uh, every single row, column, and diagonal 
equals 14, and it has to be that because 13 is the highest number. 13 plus 1 equals 14. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so 9 and 5 equal 14. 1 and 13 equal 14. 11 and 3 equal 14. 6 and 8 equal 14. It's a math puzzle, basically. Oh no, and that's not the correct solution? What? What, what, what's wrong here? 5, 9, 1, 13, 10, 4, 3, 11, 2, 12, 8, 6. It's probably like an extra step that numbers that are next to each other can't, can't be next to it. No, okay, so let's go with... That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I so... they hated each other. What's going on here? Two couldn't have been next to three. Three couldn't have been next to four. That's what I'm guessing was the solution. So, Mason and Ellie, uh, according to the phone, it looks like they were doing some sort of secret deal to sell the research. Hmm. What are you doing? Oh, oh, right. Mason's here during the daytime. Sorry, Mason. Let's confront Mason. Hey, Mason. Um, what's what's with this thing I just found? Yes. So, uh, wow. There's a lot of stuff we can talk to him about. What were you and Ellie doing, spending time together? We weren't. I know for a fact you were. For a fact? Well, I know for a fact. You're wrong. Let me get back to work. Oh, well, that was a short conversation. Well then, um, let's get this here. A black light. This might be what Nico was talking about. Mm hmm And then Ryan. What's up? I was locked in the photo lab. I think someone tried to kill me. The air was off. Yeah, I had to crawl out the vent. No one was trying to kill you. How can you be so sure? The only one who knew about the air cycling off was me. I'm working on the vent system. If someone locked you in, they weren't trying to kill you. Then what were they trying to do? I don't know, but I'll make sure the air stays on. Still, be careful out there. So the culprit just locked Nancy in. Coincidentally, at the same time Ryan turned the air off, I don't know. It seems like a murder attempt to me. I think there may be something weird about the security video from the night of the murder. Could you take a look at it with me? Yes. This track is something Nico had me add, so the security video could also do double duty as a data set. He liked tracking the ebb and flow of the electrical current throughout the year. It meant something to him. I've heard that theoretically we could... Wait. What? Right there. And there. Let me get a closer look. It's true. There are breaks in the signature. This video was tampered with. Someone followed Nico into that lab and edited themselves out of the tape. I'm pulling this off the network before. What just happened? That footage must have been flagged. Whoever killed Nico knows what we just saw. Where are you going? Anywhere but here. If you're smart, you do the same. How did we get into Gray's office? I don't know. Not really. Yeah, I have no idea how. Security breach in Tesla Coil Lab. Warning. So, uh, security breach. It's Mason. We need to save Mason's life here. What are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. This might come as a shock, but no one wants you lurking around here. Why don't you just leave me to my work? I'm not lurking. What's that? Wait! Wait, stop! Someone's activated the machine! You have to shut it all down! Please, hurry! I need to find a way to turn off all of the power. 
Okay, the culprit activated the machine, which is very, very terrible. I think the solution is we build up on the left and the right like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. There! Got yep. it! Thank you! I appreciate that! Who could have turned that on? No clue! Look, maybe we can keep this between ourselves, okay? What are you doing? Hi, Nancy. Victor. We should have a talk. Come on. Nice job. You saved me some paperwork back there. It's unfortunate that we couldn't be meeting under better circumstances. It wasn't exactly fair of me to ask you to take on such a large task. It looks like your ride is going to be a little late. Get settled in the lounge and, please, don't touch anything. I'm going to need all of your passes and keys. Where did you even get this? No, I, d I don't even want to know. What's going to happen next? Snow clears, you leave. I leave, hire a professional next time. Killer gets found, killer goes to jail. So, Nancy just got fired. Nancy got fired, but she's not going to leave because she's trapped inside due to the snowstorm. So, what's your next step with the investigation? I'm sorry if I've been anything but crystal clear. I want you off this case. Completely. You've caused enough trouble here. Victor has a super ugly shirt. I don't know where he came from. Really, I don't. I'll let you go. Mm-hmm. He managed to come in here uh, during a very terrible snowstorm, it sounds like. It it's so bad Nancy can't escape, but it's not so bad that Victor couldn't get in through it. What about Mason? Is Mason still stuck? It's locked. I guess he might still be stuck inside. I don't know. Check. Still need to do this. Can't check that off yet. Aw. Still have to do that. Ah, you saved me some paperwork. Thank you, thank you. It would have been it would have been a lot of paperwork if one of my employees died. Victor is very cold and unfeeling. Did you hear? A snowstorm of gloriously epic proportions is bearing down on us. I might get to break out the snowmobile. Or we might get snowed in like last time. I need a new key card. Can you help? Well, sorta. Here, this should do the trick. Sweet, Ryan's card. Thanks. What happens if a big storm hits? Then we're stuck. Is there any way into town? You could use the snowmobiles, but those are for emergencies only. Or things I can write off as emergencies in order to ride them. I better get going. Bye. Fantastic. So now we can break into the lab. Yeah, yeah. Getting back to what I was doing before Victor interrupted and got mad at me for saving Mason's life. Jeez. It's locked. It's locked. So, a black light under the glow, uh, let's see... So there's, there's the glowing thingy. This has to lead to whatever Nico was hiding. It's right here. A biometric fingerprint scanner. This could be a challenge. Yeah, we're trapped with the murderer by definition, right? That should be an emergency. And now I'm starting to wonder where Ellie and Gray are. Are they still here or do they, or do... Ellie and Gray still show up at nighttime. I guess they must be hiding somewhere during the daytime. I don't know where they are. Well, let's just check out with Ryan. So, Ryan, I need your gummy bears. Is there anything I can do to convince you to give me some of your gummy bears? Yes. Victor is a candy hoarder. Liberate his sugar stash and bring it to me. You seem pretty attached to gummy bears. Attached? Please. I less than three of them. They're bright, 
and sugary, and sometimes a girl gets a little lonely surrounded by all these scientists. Plus, they're fun. And you can act out these little scenes with them and then eat them. Sweet, tragic, delicious betrayal. They never see it coming, the dopes. I need your help distracting Victor. I've got just the thing. What is it? Listen. Ow. That is awful! I know! Victor hate, hate, hates it! Like, Mega Super hates it to infinity. If I leave this thing running for more than a second, he'll be yelling at me to turn it off. Perfect. But Nancy, I also hate it, and I hate getting yelled at by Victor, so whatever you need to do, please do it quickly. Okay, I'll give you a minute, and then I'll let her rip. I am a gummy bear. I am a gummy bear. Uh, people voted for me to steal gummy bears. This is how you do it. Ryan promised to give me some if I helped her. I should wait. Just steal them. Sorry, Ryan, but I need to commandeer these bears. You just turn around and steal them. Yep. Whoa. And what's this? Oh no! The slow elevator of slowness! It broke. I need to replace all of these gears before the brakes give out. Before the brakes give out and Nancy dies. Before the brakes give out, we need to put these things back. Uh, let's see, maybe these go there. Oh no, okay, does a small one fit easily between? I think a small one should fit easily. That looks great. That does not look as great. Yes. Yes. Okay. Got it. That, that puzzle did look similar to the puzzle in um, Nancy Drew Haunting a Castle Malloy. I need to find the power knob before I can use it. Okay, where's that power knob? Here it is. And I'm gonna need this beaker. And the gummy bears. We need bears. to make a fingerprint mold first. We need the fingerprint mold, so we needed to distract Victor for that fingerprint mold anyway. So while Victor is distracted, we can steal his key. Hopefully he doesn't recognize. I mean, hopefully he doesn't notice it's that stolen. That might be Nico's fingerprint on that model. Nico's giant fingerprints. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a, a fingerprint here with some tape. Got it. And now I need to make an etching of this. Are there any stairs What's in the building? That? I don't think so. And oh no, somebody is trying to buy something. I think. All parties are pleased the patents are in process. We've run the numbers. Even the most modest profit valuation puts this project in the unpurchasable category. It makes tons of money. Yes, but there are whispers that you are not going to sell it, that you are going to release it freely. Please tell me that isn't so. No, no, you can't, you can't just be a good person and let everyone have free electricity, Nico. What's wrong with you, buddy? Being a good person? Ah! So this puzzle again. Uh, let's see. So it was two... Two of, uh, HF. And then two of HNO3. And then one of water. H2O, good old H2O. Done. So we're gonna print out his fingerprints. Hmm. Pour in the formula. 
put in the fingerprint. I forgot to put in a wafer. Let's grab a wafer there. Done. And it takes half a day, so we're going to switch to nighttime. Or daytime. We could switch to daytime, too. Excellent. So now we have that and we can make the fingerprint mold in order to bypass the fingerprint scanner. Beaker, bears, melt the bears. Got it. So back into the lab. Nico's hidden area. Woo! So let's see, to turn this on, we need to find all these thingies. Hmm. Looks like I need a key as well. And this is a puzzle. Okay, that's a puzzle. Yep. And one of Nikola Tesla's journals. Woo! Ooh, that's fancy. Ah, there's an audio journal. Great, we needed that. So we actually have to listen to that audio journal. That's going to be um, necessary. So let's do it. Oh, wait. Victor's back. He's probably back and being angry. If you don't stay put on your own, I'll have to find someone to babysit you. The elevator nearly killed me. Sounds bad. Then maybe you should stop wandering around. I better get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who would he ask to babysit Nancy? I feel like he would force Mason to babysit Nancy, and then that would be sad times all around. Hi. I'm sorry to ask again, but can you distract Victor for me? Dear ears and general feelings of self-worth, I am so sorry for what's about to happen to you. Your sad friend, Ryan. Excellent. So, special audio diary. It's Tuesday, 26 hours. Ryan's getting more aggressive, which reminds me. The parts arrived today for the pigeon. 13, 6, 5, as expected. That's a clue. Should something happen to me, hopefully someone will figure out what that means. 13, 6, and 5. I think that's the important clue. Last night, I hit 90% of it again and bent it to his will. That's not important. Tesla was lucky to live. He could bet I don't win the ra I always like to think that's how Warden Cliff came This is down. another clue. Not with a wrecking ball but with one of his unassuming little boxes set to frequency 37. What was Nico up to with a pigeon? This must be what Nico was talking about in his diary. So what were those numbers again? Uh, we're, we're basically going to put those numbers into binary format according to that chart upstairs. So 13, yeah, those are the numbers anyway. Okay. And this gives me patent 1902. This must be the key to one of Nico's passwords. Woohoo! We have not called the Hardy Boys yet in this game. I can call them in a moment. So let's see, what password? Password, so this gives us the password number here, 1902. 
I want to solve this Warden Cliff puzzle before I forget how. This must be the building Nico mentioned. Yes, yeah, so that's Warden Cliff, and it destroys with, uh, what did he say, 37? So now we need to get these things to add up to 37. So 11, 19 is 20, plus 7 and 13 is 40, so that's not it. Um, I guess it's math. It's math. Oh, boy. I don't want a math puzzle in my science game. What is this? I need to find the correct frequency. So that was it. Okay, yeah, there, got it. Okay, so that's the clue. That's the key to uh, Nico's thing. And now let's call the Hardy Boys. Got it. Nancy, Frank was just talking about you. Oh, yeah? Is that so? Just recounting the time. So how are you? How's Colorado? Sciency. Awesome. Not bad. I want to catch you up on the case. Give us the deets. Joe, there's already a word that means what you're trying to say. Frank, it's a language, not a museum. Tear down the velvet rope standing in the way of your word imagination. <sighs> Joe. Sorry, Nancy. Please go ahead. I was called in to solve a cold case murder. Whoa, a murder? I am flabber worried. Isn't that a little on the dangerous side? It might be. I wish we could be there to help. Where are you? We're on a submarine. Well, currently it's a boat, but intermittently it's a submarine. What are you doing on a submarine? It's sort of a long story, and we're still putting the pieces together. Not gonna lie, Nancy, it's some pretty sweet stuff. Crime syndicates, pirate treasure, and there's some talk of pirate ghosts. But no confirmations as of yet. But fingers crossed. More importantly, tell us about you. Okay, here's the full scoop. Victor, the lab owner, called me in to help solve a cold case. Why did he call you? Isn't this a job for the police? Well, that's the thing. The police hit a dead end, and Nico, the researcher who was killed, all of his papers were put into evidence. And they stay in evidence until the case is closed, right? Exactly. What makes the papers so important? Apparently, Nico was very close to making his research public. The research was supposedly going to revolutionize the way power is created and delivered in this country. Well, the world, really. Victor wants the papers released before anyone else connects the dots. If it's such a big deal, how come he didn't go to some big private eye or something? Joe, probably because Nancy's got a very well-deserved reputation of being the best there is. I'm sorry, Nancy. I didn't mean it that way. It just seems like a really big job. I thought the same thing, trust me. But he thinks because of my age, no one will suspect I'm undercover. I hope he's right. Oh, undercover. That makes sense. Cool. Keep us up to date. We'll do everything we can to help. Deirdre's decided to help me out. What's in it for her? A passing grade. Ah, oh, lucky. I wonder who her teacher is. I foiled three art heists, and did that help my art history grade? No. No, it did not. Rescue a stolen Vermeer, yet you still get a C. Poor Joe. Victor's here. Why? Yeah, why? I guess I failed. I'm off the case. Really? Nancy Drew leaving an unsolved case? Unlikely. I was so close. But things got more complicated when he showed up. And there's something else. What? I'm a little snowed in snowed in with a killer. This is not good. Tell me about it. Play it cool. Since we're way out here, you might have to rely on someone on site. Choose wisely. You don't have to tell me twice. Sounds good. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Oh, hey, I got a text message. Victor's on the move. Run. Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Okay, so those are the Hardy Boys, Frank and Joe. Now let's solve this puzzle. Okay, so this is the key. Hmm. Okay. Now we need to see if we can get all these things figured out. Uh-huh. Um, um, let's see. Here. Oh. 
Here. That was it. That was it. It was the middle one. It was the middle one. Yeah, okay, that was it. Okay. Got it! Uh, let's see. Do I start with this? Woo! Okay, and then the password was this one. So it's one 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 nine seven three two. And here we go. Nico somehow managed to pre-record the footage of his death. This must be the unedited footage. Good job, Nico. So who killed Nico? Let's find out together. Was it Gray? No. Gray left before Nico was attacked. It was actually Angry Beard. He walks out by himself, looks at the security camera, and leaves. Victor! He must have killed Nico. I need to find a way to get this evidence out. Okay, what was so that? we've got the video file here on uh, on Nancy's hard drive. Yes, but we have an electrical shield, and once Nancy goes through that electrical force field, all her electronics will die. So let's let's make some phone calls here. I seem to recall we have funny phone calls. Hey there, Nancy Drew. I just saw the real security video. Victor killed Nico. I think he knows I figured it out. Great! How is this great? I'm a sucker for an action-packed ending. Now go out there and don't die! I need this grade! Why are you acting like such a sociopath? I'm not a sociopath. I just have a lot of appreciation for closure. And come on, how many times have you not died? It only takes once. Okay, valid point. Be careful. I'll hang up and do what I can from my end. Good luck. Thanks, Deirdre. Thank you. Can we call Victor? Probably not. You've reached Victor Lazard. Please leave a message at the tone. Hi! It was Victor! Do you mean Victor killed Nico? Does he know you know? I'm afraid he might. Get the evidence out of there and call us right back, okay? Got it. Hang on. Oh no! Nico security, of course. I bet all of my electronics just got fried. Yeah. Must have gotten zapped by Nico security system. You can do it, Nancy. Go out there and don't die. Otherwise, Deirdre fails her course. Deirdre really needs that grade. So in order to get it fixed, we need to get help from our friend Ryan. Just in case you were wondering, yes, Victor's yelling is starting to crush my soul a little bit. I've made a chart to illustrate my feelings on the situation. This line represents my happiness and well-being over time. You may notice the steep decline. This frowny face here is because this is the first time I've made a chart, and it turns out it's very boring. That is also why there is a dragon and a dog on the skateboard and other stuff. I need your help, big time. What? It was Victor. He killed Nico. Did you call the police? I couldn't. I had evidence, but it got zapped when I tried to take it out of Nico's secret lab. Secret lab? Zapped? What? I I'll explain later. I just need a way to get the video out without getting it ruined. You need to find a way to make a Faraday cage. That should get the drive out without wiping it. Get the drive out. I'll work on what to do next. Take this. It'll help. This box might be just what I need to build a Faraday container. This might work. 
Or maybe it'll backfire and electrocute you. What? Sorry, sorry. I'm just so happy we're gonna bust him. And also really scared he'll catch us and kill us all. I'm on a roller coaster right now. Ellie and I will gas up the snowmobiles and split up to double our chances of reaching help. Do not let him catch on. If he knows you're about to get the video out, he will kill you. Play it cool, Nancy. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> he will kill you. Oh, goodbye. Bye. Hmm. Okay, there's the USB drive. And now we need to build the Faraday cage. Poor Nancy, too bad she couldn't have left her phone behind. Yeah, like, turn off the security, put her phone on the other side of the door, and then go back through. Would that have worked? I hope it would have worked. Yeah, I think it might have. Or it might not have. It could have been a colossal failure. I don't know. Let's... Let's... Let's do this. End game sequence. Can we talk to Victor? Victor disappeared. Ah. Off plotting more murder, I bet. Hmm. Time to make a portable Faraday cage. Hope this works. Wrap it in foil. And use those two things this together. This box should keep the drive safe. And good. Let's go. Happy upbeat music. Clearly not the right place for uh, happy upbeat music. All right, let's put in nothing. The electromagnetic pulse from the door must have destroyed the USB drive. Oh. I need to transfer the evidence no, no, no. to a this drive USB before drive. Victor this, can destroy it. This USB drive. Okay, here. Okay, it's transferred. Download. Great. Oh, I'd better grab it again. All right. I just might be able to get this through the door safely. Yes. There we go. Okay, we've got the evidence. Hooray, we've got the evidence. And Gray! He's out cold. I should find help. Oh no, not Gray. He's he's unconscious. Oh no. I'd better get help. Can I go here? Uh uh It's stuck. Oh, I can't escape it's through the vents. Stuck. That would have been cool if I could. Okay, so Gray's been attacked and Victor Oh no. Hello, Nancy. <gasps> yeah, he's going to kill me. You're awake. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Victor, why are you doing this? Stay out of the lab. That was the one thing I asked you to do, and you couldn't. You see, Nancy, I knew Nico had something hidden in here. I just couldn't find it, which is why I asked you to stay out. You got away with murder. Why not make a break for it? Why the elaborate plan? Murder investigations don't just go away. Someone had to take the fall, Nancy. You were supposed to give someone a push. That friend of yours sold you short. That's why you're here. You were supposed to drum up enough evidence to get Ryan put away. But no! You had to screw that up. Yes, it would have made a lot more sense if Victor killed Nancy immediately, rather than lock her inside a Faraday cage and kill her very, very slowly. But it's good for us that he's trying to kill Nancy very, very slowly, because it gives Nancy enough time to escape. Well, yeah, he definitely wanted to get his evil villain monologue in. I guess that's why he wanted to go with the slow death rather than the quick death. Then I handed you Ellie and Mason, handed them to you on a big silver platter that said, Look how guilty these two are! You knocked me out, and then planted the key card. That should have sealed the deal, but you couldn't leave it alone. I guess I should be congratulating you for being so sharp. It really is a shame I have to kill you instead. Goodbye, Nancy Drew! Goodbye. The cage won't last long against the coil. I'll need to find a way to get out without getting electrocuted. 
I bet Ryan's electrical components will help here. Good thing she just gave me electrical components along with the USB drive. This must be the schematic for the circuit. So this is going to be a puzzle. So see, this is a schematic versus the actual diagram. Okay, I'm just going to cheat this I need to get this puzzle. working before it's too late. It is a monster of a puzzle. So the solution looks uh, like this. Yeah, we want to match that, that diagram. That one there. That one there. That one there. Let's see. These ones are really tricky. The, the, the ones that are like triangles. Well, actually, that's not so tricky. That one's obviously a triangle. Okay, I guess the triangle ones aren't so bad. Okay. So here we're going to have three of these things all in a row. And then I guess um, it should be easy from here on out. Yeah. These are the all, all the all the the tiny ones are the tiny ones, and then I don't see the last big one. Okay, well, let me just make those tiny connections. Here's the big one. Okay, there we go. Here's that last big connection. So these are the tiny ones, and yeah. Got it. This should give me a chance to escape. What are you doing? Stop that! And like an idiot, Victor steps out into the middle of the electrical field while the Tesla coil is running. Victor gets injured. He doesn't die, but he does get injured, and that's how Victor is defeated. Ah! Dear Hannah, Victor was rushed to the hospital and then to a courthouse where he was charged with the murder of Nico Jovic. Due to his attempts to subvert justice, he's been denied bail until his trial Word is he's willing to strike a plea deal for leniency, but I doubt there will be much to be found. The potential buyers Victor had been courting came forward immediately. It was quickly proven they had no idea about Victor's involvement in Nico's death. Regardless, they decided to cut funding for the lab immediately. I can hardly blame them. Mason snuck back into the lab the night after Victor's arrest and made off with a drive containing years of his and Nico's research. Gray spent weeks chasing him down until he finally caught him trying to make a sale at the Technology of Tomorrow conference. After a heated public argument that sent the Technology of Tomorrow bloggers into a frenzy, the two reached an agreement. Gray promised all due credit would remain with Mason and Ellie, provided they assist him in finishing Nico's work. A video of the argument titled Epic Dork Fight was posted online and went viral almost immediately. Within two hours, Gray was fielding calls from philanthropic backers wishing to fund their new endeavor. Mason, on the other hand, was fielding date requests from viewers who clearly have a profound affinity for the lost art of arguing. Allie was surprised at first to hear that Mason wanted her to assist with finishing up Nico's work. She agreed to stay on until the first publication is completed. After that, she plans on doing whatever it takes to get back home. She's not sure what her next endeavor will be, but she's excited to make that decision alongside her family. So Ellie's happy ending is she really hates it in Colorado and wants to leave, so now she gets to leave. Okay, Ellie was basically gone for most of the game, so I guess we didn't have that much chance to interact with her. Finding out what had happened to his best friend changed Gray almost immediately. For the first time since his breakdown, he decided to fully re-enter the world of science. He took the lead on finishing Nico's work and opening the majority of the research up to the public. Some of the work he plans to destroy, as he promised. Although she had been exonerated, 
It wasn't until Ryan knew exactly what happened to Nico that she could begin to move on from what happened that night. She decided to stay with the team during the next research phase on the condition that she can personally address all safety issues before each experiment. More than anything, Nico wanted his work to make the world a better place. I'd like to think he'd be very proud to see the team working hard to prepare his work for public release. The fact that Nico Jovic's name will be known the world over, while Victor's won't, again proves what I always believed. The world fondly remembers those who always give, and soon forgets those who only take. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. An interesting ending. We get electrocuted. So, um, his partner during the War of the Currents, I don't know, Westinghouse? Woo! Okay, so I got some awards. Stole the gummy bears, messed up Mason's desk, and, uh, got the trivia question correctly. Didn't get an Easter egg, didn't play music, didn't do the, uh, Tesla coil a lot. Chemistry, robot cat, uh, pigeon... Wow, getting to the end of that one game? Yeah, that would take forever. Raising the alarm a lot and sealing all of Nico's candy. Around here, they say, it's a wicked place. Abandoned years ago by a family who could no longer take the endless nights when the restless spirits of the past at the grounds of Thornton Hall. Jessalyn Thornton dared return, only to vanish without a trace. It's up to me to save her from the ghost of Thornton Hall. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, Thornton <gasps> Hall. Creepy trees. Hello? Anybody here? Okay, well that's it for uh, Nancy Drew, The Deadly Device. I really like this game. It's got a bunch of puzzles and I really like the puzzles and I like how they fit together. The characters are pretty good. Um, I just complained about Ellie not having much of a storyline. Yeah, and then Mason was mainly just kind of angry. Yeah, it was interesting. A lot of people are angry and on edge, but I feel like that worked pretty well with the, with the game. Uh, because it's a murder mystery and I think the fact that it's a murder mystery also uh, gives this game a few uh, points in my book because it's pretty intense. I like it. Deirdre Shannon was great in this game. Deirdre was great. Yeah, and I liked Victor too. I thought that was cool. So yeah, I don't, I don't really have any other comments. DL, yeah, I thought this game was better than the previous one. I liked it much better than uh, Tomb of the Lost Queen. Though it would have been interesting if all the characters were there at the same time and you didn't have to constantly switch uh, between night and day, but it, it worked. Yeah, more substance to Mason and Ellie. I didn't really go into the storyline of Mason and Ellie. I didn't really examine them and follow up on that. Oh well. Gray. Oh boy. And Mason. Okay, well that's it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody.